What's up guys? It's your boy John. We're back again here with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at something awesome. Just, I got a lot of requests saying, can you just go over launchers and the way they look and how they work? So I'm gonna do that for 2021 and show you this gorgeous QLED panel for my doing. But anyways, we have Navi, radio, calendar kind of clock music and bluetooth i just think the interface of this is really clean because the colors are popping it even looks better now this is going to be video eq uh your app drawer settings and then file explorer all pretty self-explanatory you got radio right here and uh and so forth but look, um, let's go into something a little bit more cooler. We have the app drawer. This one shows the car info. Now you can see the cruising range, the history, um, what's on lock and lock right now, which is cool. TPMS, there's no TPS in this car. And then you can adjust your vehicle settings from here too. Um, one thing about this car is it does have the CAN bus box right here so when you turn on the AC it turns on same with the fans you can see it's a little bit one to one and also when you open the door it says the doors are open so these head units are very integrated and it's awesome now there's more settings than most of you guys would even need but <laughs> check that out that it's it's there if you want it which is awesome oh TPMS sensor I guess, I guess it does have TPMS sensors. It shows the TP, uh, the pressure in KPA. Here in the United States, we do use PSI. But yeah, so very cool. Um, just, just a lot of settings that maybe you wouldn't. It, it might be too much information. Like I don't even know if these even do anything, or if it just shows you what is turned on or not. Cause you got both lights right there and then you, so you can't click on these but it shows you when you turn it on and off see headlights with lights near lights far lights fog lights like th that is cool hanging the brakes <laughs> so wow there's a lot of things in here that uh, I guess you can use for like troubleshooting but uh, <laughs> a little bit overkill. Car Link is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, this it has Android Auto wired and wired and wireless cap Apple CarPlay. So that's very nice. Control is for steering wheel controls. This one already has everything set up, so I don't really want to mess with it. Galleries, pictures, and radio. It does have the Google Play Store and so forth. So. Yeah, very cool stuff here. Uh, video player YouTube. I guess we can go on YouTube. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi right now. So just got connected to Wi-Fi, and we'll be on to the races. Let's look at settings and what's what's in the settings menu here. Wi-Fi, sound display, very traditional USB video output setting. That is a little bit different, so you can kind of see. I guess if you had a dash cam or something like that, you can edit those settings. Generals kind of like where you want to go to start. Most of this stuff is um, that controls the backup camera. I need to have my foot on the the brake, but I do have reverse camera working on this and stuff, all that. So this is all good. This stuff again, serial controls. We already did that. But yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was a quick tutorial just going over the settings. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.